At the recent Unmanned Systems Exhibition and Conference in Abu Dhabi, Baykar, a leading Turkish aerospace company, introduced their newest version of the iconic unmanned combat aerial vehicle, the Bayraktar. Marking the first international debut of the platform, the Bayraktar TB3 garnered significant attention at the show. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at this advanced platform, exploring its capabilities and specifications. Additionally, we'll discuss the impact of the Bayraktar on Turkey's defense capabilities and its role in signaling enhanced relations with the United Arab Emirates. Let's dive right in. The Bayraktar TB3 is a Turkish medium-altitude, long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle with the capability for short-range landing and takeoff. Designed and manufactured by Baykar, the TB3 was first unveiled on October 29, 2020 and completed its maiden flight three years later on October 27, 2023, with UMAX serving as the platform's first international debut. The core of the TB3's design is its extended 24-meter wingspan, a substantial increase from the TB2's wingspan. This larger wingspan not only enhances the UCAV's aerodynamic efficiency, but also increases its payload capacity, allowing it to carry a more diverse range of equipment and weaponry. The TB3's airframe is constructed with advanced composite materials, offering an optimal balance between strength and weight. One of the TB3's standout features is its foldable wings, a complex engineering accomplishment that enables operations from short runway naval platforms like aircraft carriers. This design suggests the use of intricate hinge and locking mechanisms that ensure structural integrity during flight while allowing for compact storage on naval vessels. In fact, Baycar announced that the TB3 will be the world's first armed UAV capable of taking off and landing from short runway ships like TCG Anadolu. Testing on the Anadolu ship is scheduled to commence in late 2024. The propulsion of the TB3 is powered by the upgraded 172 horsepower PD-170 engine from Turkey's TEI. Compared to the TB2's engine, the PD-170 likely offers increased fuel efficiency, a higher power-to-weight ratio, and enhanced reliability, all essential for the drone's extended and demanding missions. In terms of avionics and control systems, the TB3 is expected to feature an advanced flight control system for stability and precise maneuvering, integrated with GPS and inertial navigation systems. Its communication systems include SATCOM capabilities, facilitating long-distance command and control, and real-time data transfer. The TB3's payload capabilities are designed for versatility. It features six hardpoints for laser-guided smart munitions. It can carry a variety of precision-guided munitions, primarily sourced from Turkish manufacturers. However, at UMEX this year, the UAE defense conglomerate EDGE Group announced its plans to integrate guided weapons onto UAVs produced by Baycar, including the Bayraktar TB3. The event showed a successful integration of Halcon's precision-guided ammunition, Desert Sting 16 and Desert Sting 25, onto the Bayraktar TB3. The integration of this precision-guided ammunition could mark the beginning of an expansion in the target-killing capabilities of the TB3. This development also hints at the potential incorporation of other airborne weapons produced by the EDGE Group in the future. This cooperation seems mutually beneficial for both companies. Turkey widens its array of weaponry options, while the UAE gains access to a broader international market. The partnership was marked by the delivery of 20 Bayraktar TB2 UAVs to the UAE in 2022, and now it is set for further growth. For ISR missions, the Bayraktar TB3 is equipped with a comprehensive sensor suite, including high-resolution cameras and infrared sensors such as the new Aselsan imaging and targeting sensor. The modular design of its payload system allows for quick reconfiguration to suit different operational needs. The Bayraktar drones gained international attention for their role in influencing conflicts across multiple nations, 
notably in Ukraine, where they played a crucial role in countering Russian forces during the early stages of Moscow's invasion. As a result, Baykar announced plans to build a factory near Kyiv, intending to employ around 500 people. The facility is anticipated to manufacture either the well-known Bayraktar TB2 drone model or the newly introduced TB3 drone. As of late 2023, the Bayraktar TB2 drone had already been exported to 13 countries and enjoys widespread popularity. It remains to be seen if the TB3 will achieve a similar level of acclaim. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.